the 200 meter dash for the Paris Olympics is officially over. And I'm pretty sure almost nobody thought it was going to go down quite like that. Because Lesile Tobogo of Botswana pulled off the upset. Not just beating Noah Lyles, but all the fast Americans to become the gold medalist. Being as candid as I possibly can, Noah Lyles had to be my pick because he wasn't just the favorite, he was the only logical choice because he had run times over the last few years that nobody in the world had been running. And after winning the 100 meter dash the way that he did, I figured there's no good reason to bet against him now. But I am now aware that he did test positive for COVID and still lined up to compete in the final which is very impressive when you realize that he still got the bronze medal after all of that. I am on the record for pointing out that Kenny Benarek did have the talent to beat Noah in the final, which he did. And now he has another silver medal to go along with the one he got back in Tokyo in 2021. But what we just witnessed from Lesile Tobogo is an even bigger deal than most people realize because I can't be the only one who knew that he had the talent to eventually win a gold medal at the Olympics and probably do it in the 200 meter dash. I just didn't know he was going to do it in the year 2024 because he is not only the first athlete representing an African nation to win the 200 meter dash at the Olympics, he is also 21 years old right now. And that is the exact same age that Usain Bolt was when he won this same event for the first time ever at the Olympics back in 2008. So this victory is no longer just an upset, it might be the beginning of a new era because America has been running things in the short sprints for the past few years. But Lesile Tobogo is the only man to take a medal in the 200 meter dash between the last Olympics and this one, who was not American. And this time around, it seemed that he felt that gold would look pretty good on him. And I am pretty sure that he plans on adding a whole bunch more to his collection. So even though an American man was supposed to win during this Olympics, I am no longer sure that we'll be saying that four years from now. But if you're new here, I want to say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SCARecruiting.com, where I rank the best track and field recruits across the entire nation. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. Now that he's an Olympic champion and won his event the way that he did, the entire sports world should know who he is. But real track and field fans already knew that Lesile Tobogo is legit. If we're gonna be totally honest about it, the only reason he doesn't get much more attention in the media is because he's not American or Jamaican. And believe it or not, the 200 wasn't even his best event at first. He won the World Junior Championship in the 100 meter dash, twice. He did it in 2021 and in 2022. Don't get me wrong, he did get the silver medal in the 200 meter dash in both years. But that was back when he was 18 and 19 years old. So whether or not we were really paying attention, the 2023 season was the first time we were watching him compete with all the world's best. I could tell you about all his success on the professional circuit, but there's really no point in that because he was there at the world championships and that is all we need to look at to know how good he actually is because that was also the year where Noah Lyles completed the sprint triple in the 100, the 200, and the 4x1. And to be real with you, in the sport of track and field, I've been trying to tell you for a while now, if you're not first, in the eyes of most fans, you might as well be in last place. But the man with the silver medal in the 100 meter dash that year was Letsile Tobogo of Botswana. Remember, he was only 20 years old, and if Noah Lyles did not sneak past him in the final 10 meters of that race, he would be the reigning world champion in the 100 meter dash. And he only got the bronze in the 200 because Noah Lyles and Arian Knighton both beat him out. And Knighton is actually less than a year younger than Tobogo. And I know people like to talk about potential and what athletes are gonna do in the future. But what Tobogo just did is special because Arian Knighton was in fourth place at the 2021 Olympics in the 200 meter dash. And here we are in 2024 and he's still in the exact same spot. Yeah. Tobogo wasn't even there in 2021. He was running World Juniors, and he wasn't even winning the 200 at that moment. And then in March of 2024, he ran 44.29 seconds in the 400 meter dash. This is a young man who has never taken the 400 all that seriously. It was actually Anderson Emerald of the final leg who pointed out to me that the sky was clearly the limit for what Tobogo could do going forward. And now, Tobogo has taken off, literally 
and it did take me a while to get convinced that he was going to pull this off. And then once I make a pick, before the heats go off, I try to stick to it. But when I watched the rounds of the 200 meter dash, without knowing any additional information, specifically when I saw the way he won his semi-final heat, the same heat with Noah in it, that was when I realized there was a very real chance that he could pull this off. Because I don't care what anybody has to say about it. The plan in the semi-final was not for Noah Lyles to finish the race in second. He came off the turn behind and remained that way for the remainder of the race. And if you were watching the final, that is exactly what you saw. Tobogo got off the turn ahead of everybody else and held that lead from that moment all the way to the finish. So now let's see Tobogo of Botswana is an Olympic champion. He's only 21 years old with an entire career ahead of him. He's already the fifth fastest man in the 200 meter dash in history. And only one man on that list who's ahead of him is in the game right now. I can't tell you if he's going to break the world record in the future, but I do know what happened to Usain Bolt the year after he won his first Olympics. He ran even faster, which is exactly what Tobogo's going to do. So if you want to beat him going forward, you'll likely have to run a time that you probably never run unless you're him. And once you get your first taste of gold, you normally get hooked on it. Because in this sport of track and field, in the eyes of most fans, whether you like it or not, if you're not first, then you're last, which is also why we should have noticed that he probably should have been the favorite all along. SCA track and field gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop, or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel, so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.